funny is Yogi? That's great. Um, cool. Uh, my name is Jacob Taylor. Uh, I'm the managing partner at Civitas Now, uh, an experiential advertising firm. What's up? Flip my, oh, flip my time. Okay, great. Gotcha. That's really helpful. I wish you'd have done that. Been great. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Yogi and I are friends. We can we can do that. Um, Cool, so I think that there's a bigger story here that a lot of folks know, and that's the college dropout and, and the more known. Uh, and you might even think you see me in the crowd right now, but that's my identical twin brother. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he does a lot of the similar stuff that I get into. But the story I think that would be really relevant today is probably the one that hasn't been told, and that's the last year of my life. Uh, probably almost like to the day, to the weekend, uh, this time last year, um, I lost a business partner uh, and a really, really good friend. Um, and what that does at, at a time in, in a certain transitional moment I was in was a lot of bad stuff, right? Um, I would say that it wasn't sink or swim for me because I had already touched the bottom, right? Uh, and it was only an opportunity to kind of go up from there. Um, and, I, and I realized in our business, uh, and really quickly background, we do experiential activations. So we represent clients like Major League Soccer, Take Five Candy Bar, Meritage Homes, um, and we do a lot of their brand activations coast to coast. But I had no idea that's what I did a year ago. Uh, we were professional services, so we are cash flow. Uh, we are a signed client and sign another. Um, and what we realized in June of last year is that we had no idea who our customer was. Um, and we had no idea what problem we were solving. And I think that that was a huge retrospective moment for me uh, as someone who had been in business for two and a half years before that. And had worked with a ton of clients, big and small. And I had no idea what really I was solving for them. So when you get to this moment and it's a sink or swim, you kind of have to start, you know, digging in your heels. So that's what I did. Um, I spent the next four months on the road. Uh, I traveled to like Louisville, Kentucky <laughs> and Memphis and Mobile, Alabama and spent weeks in hotels and meeting with people to ask them, like, what is your problem that you will pay me for that I can get started with? Um, because I have payroll to meet and I have bills to pay. Um, and to try to, in retrospect, learn and, and learn what real problem I was solving for my client. Um, so I turned the fall of last year uh, and we're in town and, I, and I'm like, guys, I have to go to Nashville because this one client who like, may pay me a dollar, may not pay me a dollar, wants to meet, I want to learn more about why they want to pay me. Uh, and I think that we should look more into that as we want to start businesses about what real market fit we're, we're, we're meeting. Um, so what I did was I went to Nashville. I drove six hours, middle of the night, uh, and met with this client. And I brought an intern with me who had been working like 90 days just so I wouldn't fall asleep at the wheel. Um, I get down there and like, you know, the meeting's at 8 a.m. So like I had to leave in the middle of the night. And by the way, I don't want to take a flight because I can't afford it. And I, I'm there and I'm in the meeting and I'm talking about my business a way I've never done before. Uh, I'm talking about the why of what we do, uh, not the what and the how, but rather what solution I have and not what product I offer. And what we ended up doing there was signing enough pieces of business to get us throughout the end of the year. Um, and at that moment, we said, ha, that's the flip the table over moment. Uh, I know what real problem I'm, I'm solving. Uh, and that was no longer doing what I'd done any moment before that. Uh, so we cut staff again, changed our whole model. And by the end of the next year, I can now look back and say that I solved that problem nationally for Major League Soccer. Uh, clients that agencies 400 times my size would, would, would absolutely cut my throat to half. Um, and, and what I've learned is that we never were our most authentic self at any moment. It was all just maybe, right? And an unsureness of what we were selling. 
Um, and as we go through some of these, these, these processes now, um, as now, like, I get to add staff for the first time in forever. Uh, and I get to grow and, and add space and, and travel and do these things. Um, but it's mostly because I was being wildly selfish. I see my time. I'm running out right now. Um, yeah, so I think my only story, the one thing I want to kind of leave here with is that being your most authentic self and asking yourself your why before your what and your how uh, has been the most rewarding for me. So as you leave here, kind of take that with you and realize that that why is more than likely what you identify with in your client, uh, in, your, in your business or in your customer. That's why they return and uh, keep spending cash with you. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>